The sphere cylinder combo is incredibly useful because you can do a lot with it. And when you do form combinations, sometimes it's good to draw the entire form. Sometimes you do partial constructions, depending. But all it takes to combine a sphere and a cylinder is to sort of begin to stack them and add them on each other. It's, it's really pretty simple. And remember, a sphere to convert to form, you have to light, so you have to give it a, a corner where the shadow would be. And if you give it a corner there, you're going to have a corner here on your cylinder, and your shadow is going to kind of do this sort of thing down here. So this will be your shadow side. Okay, so I call this one, this one looks to me like a microphone, right? Super simple. Um, you can do, by changing the proportion, scale, and direction of all of this stuff, you can change everything. This one's like the candied apple, right? Kind of coming off at a wonky angle. There's, you can take the cylinder and turn it into more of a disc. And you can do a good old UFO. This one's sort of fun. You can take your sphere, cut it in half, add a little stem, and you get a mushroom. You can draw a, uh, you can draw a pill. You can just, we can just remind you that it's a pill by being kind of specific about the shape. You can do things like a light bulb. This one you might tailor with a little bit of a cone to make a specific light bulb. You can do a grain silo if you do the single-sided cylinder and add a cap to it. You can do things like like a vase. Put a little handle on it. You can do things like a teapot. And then by changing proportions, uh, you can change kind of the feel of what something looks like. So we have this one where you see the one-sided cylinder and cap it off with a sphere. But if we change those proportions, we do it more squat. Use a bigger proportion and ratio of sphere to cylinder. We got our observatory, right? And then all we have to do to make it really look like an observatory is cut a hole in it. Now it really looks like an observatory, right? Um, so again, this is a combination that you're going to find incredibly useful and you're going to draw tons of objects. It's going to come uh, in handy with all kinds of figural things as well.